more fishing. Enough. This week in the Tackle Box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today. We're fishing offshore looking for tuna using live bait, live sardines. And the most important part about fishing a live sardine is to pick a good lively bait. It's called live bait fishing for a reason and I can't tell you how many times I watch anglers just go to the bait tank, grab anything they can, usually something that looks like it's dead, and pin it on and then they get disappointed they can't catch fish. The guys that are really successful, the anglers that are successful, spend a little bit of time at the bait tank. They're looking at the bait wells, they're looking at all the baits swimming around there. They want to get one that's so hard to catch, they have to use both hands, it's swimming really hard in there. The ones that are swimming the best in the bait well are the ones that are going to swim the best out in the water, running away from the tuna. They're going to look attractive to the tuna, they're going to come down, chase them down and eat them. Now once you pick the good live bait, it's hook selection. If you're new to the sport, you're not quite sure when to set the hook, use the circle hook. If you're really familiar with it and you like to drive that hook in the fish, then use a J hook. Some days I, you know, I use one and then I go the other. If I'm having trouble setting the hook, I'll go to a circle hook. But as a rule, I usually use a J hook. And just to let you know what they look like, this is the two differences. The difference is when a fish runs with the circle hook, all you do is put the rod in gear, point it to the fish, and it hooks itself. With the J hook, you're gonna let it run to a count of three or four, put the reel in gear, let all that slack line come out of your rod, out of your line, and then drive that hook into the fish. You gotta pull that hook out of the bait and right into the fish. So you gotta pull really hard. At that point, you have the fish, and all it is a matter of winding it in. I know when all the action's going off and you're really excited, you wanna hurry up and get to rail and throw out your bait, the big key is to spend a little time at the bait tank. You just want to stay there at the bait tank and find a good lively bait. You get a good quality bait, you're going to have a more successful day. It isn't always about how much time you spend at the rail as it is about how much time you invest at the bait tank to get a good lively bait. And if you can't find a good lively bait, if all the baits in there have red noses and missing scales, ask the deckhand to please get you some more bait. They'll dig down there, they'll get you a bait, put it in the bait well, it'd be great. You know, deckhands and the skippers, they all want you to have a successful trip. So just ask for help and they'll be glad to help you. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing.